Hi, welcome back to this Revit set of uh, tutorials. Uh, there were a fair few things that we didn't really cover in any detail uh, with these, so we'll kind of kind of look at kind of embellish, embellishing the plan, adding room names and the likes, uh, creating a 3D callout, uh, rendering, and uh, room scheduling. So there's these things that are kind of fairly common, um, and we, you really should have your, these under your be able to do these things as well. So we're going to start off by looking at the, the staircase. We didn't really finish off things properly on that staircase. So have a look at the 3D view and I'm going to hide the the roof. So hide that element and I'm going to hide this ceiling so I can see the staircase. Okay. Now this model doesn't have the cutout through the uh, through the floor so uh, we'll have to do that as well, okay? But what I'm going to do is delete these two railings because uh, firstly I want to enlarge the floor a little bit around the stair so that we can put in a tidy kind of profile around the, the edge of the floor here. So I'm going to click on the floor and edit its boundary. Look at the level 1 plan. Okay, and what I want to do is expand it 200 millimeters this direction, 200 millimeters this direction. So at the moment, the dimension there, 4014.1. Okay, so if I make, add another 200 to that, so I'll make that 24214. Okay, and then do the same on this side. Okay, add another 200 there, so it'll be 4414. So that's a pretty clean way of doing that. And while I'm here, I'm going to pull this line through onto this side of the wall so that we get a cleaner wall going through onto another wall that doesn't get interrupted by a floor plane. Okay, so hit the tick there. Answer no to this. Otherwise, it kind of wrecks the outside of the building a wee bit. Okay, let's have a look at the level zero ceiling plan now. And we'll cut our hole out for that. Okay. Before I do that, I'm just going to line up these ceilings. They're a bit untidy. So I'll click on the ceiling here. I want to do some alignment. I want to align with the grid. I want to align with the grid in this direction as well. Okay, and then let's tidy up over here. Align with the main ceiling and align with the main ceiling. So it's going to look a bit tidier. Okay, we want to modify this ceiling layout, edit its boundary, it's now revealing what's happening above the ceiling, so we can see the hole in the floor above. Okay, so three lines here, one, two, and three. Okay, we need to modify this slightly, so I want you to make a, a break in the ceiling here and the break just here. Get the modify cursor again, take this line away, okay, and then you can finalize the ceiling. Okay, so the 3D view should show the problem we've got. We're seeing the edge of the floor and the ceiling, and there's nothing closing the two. So, what we're going to do is create a path along the edge of the ceiling. There'll be a path, an L shaped path here and an R-shaped path there. Okay, and then we can run a profiled shape along that path and it will create a solid that closes off the edge of the ceiling. Okay, so we do this on the level one plan. Okay, and before I attempt this, I want to create a section. Okay, and so the section is going to be behind the stair looking in this direction. So it's view section, start my marker here, take it vertically to here, okay, let's have a look at that section, be section 2, okay, so it's through the, behind the stair, looking kind of westwards, and we see the floor here and the ceiling, that's a bit thick and chunky the way the line work is there, so let's change this to a 1 to 10, 
okay because we'll be drawing the shape that we want to create the the, pro the solid from so we'll be drawing our profile in this location okay go back to your level one plan and we start the process so it's architecture component model in place the feature is the category here would be ceilings so let's call it ceiling sorry stair fascia stair fascia one okay I want to use the sweep command and I need to sketch a path and it's important that you sketch the path so that you're able to draw along that path. So the first portion of the path is going from here to here and the second portion from here oops, give me that. another line here I'm going to take it to the second line here to get a good overlap enter to finish Great. I'm not going to go across the stair there because that would kind of cause the fascia to, to be visible at the top of the stair. That would be a bit unrealistic. There's a, a device arrived here, and this is a, dra a vertical drawing plane, and it's halfway along the first portion of the path. And that's really important. We placed our section to this side of the drawing plane, so we'll be able to look and see the drawing plane. So green tick there. I want to now edit the profile and it says where are you going to draw your profile? We'll draw it on section 2. So double click section 2 and this is the drawing plane here. These dashed lines are indicating the drawing plane and we drew the path along the edge of the floor and that's what the red dot is representing. Okay so I need to draw this fairly carefully so I'm going to draw down from that point okay I'm going to go onto the ceiling by a hundred millimeters down 25 back 125 so I'm maintaining a, a thickness of fascia of 25 millimeters I'm going to add a little bit of shape into this so let's say we'll go up 75 and back up 30 so just a little bit of profile Okay, I want to come up and over onto the floor. So I'll go to there, then another 25, then 125, down to the floor, back to where we started. Okay. So it's not waiting for me to draw anymore. So I need to use this profile again, so I'm going to modify it just now, select it, and copy it. So Control C. Okay, so that's good to go. We now kind of finalize things. So there's, a, there's at least three ticks now to finalize everything. So you're happy with your profile shape. Another tick will extrude it, and then you're finished modeling. Okay, so that's looking good. It's one big object. Have a look at it in 3D view. You can see the object is in place. So we now need to do this side. So the first portion of the path is going to be from here to here. Okay, so it's so the drawing plane ends up in the same position as it was on this side. So it's a level one plan, architecture, component, model in place, ceilings category, but we'll call it stair fascia two. Okay, we're going to use a sweep command. We need to sketch a path. First portion, second portion. Enter to finish. We've finished sketching the path. You can see here where the drawing plane is going to be. Okay, we edit the profile on section two. Over on this side now, we've got the drawing plane. Control V to bring back the profile. It's 
facing the wrong way we need to mirror that so if I do mirror draw axis flips it over and carefully move that into position so I'm going to use object snaps to help me with that okay and then it ticks to finalize so kind of one extra tick there so create the solid and then finish the model okay so we'll reinstate the uh, balustrades now took them away just to make it a bit easier to to get that drawn so back to level one plan okay let's just hide these temporarily okay so I want to right click those hide in view elements okay so it's architecture railing sketch path first portion second portion taking this one line further in so that it overlaps onto the stair handrail okay I can't do this portion at the same time it has to be in two portions so I'll finish the edit mode there okay put another one on so it's architecture railing sketch path okay and then another smaller portion of line to here that's good so I hit the tick and before we forget let's unhide the balustrades so it's hit the little light bulb the profile here and here that are hidden right click those unhide in view elements go back and click on the light bulb okay let's have a look at the 3d view okay these these balustrades are pretty heavy looking so let's swap all of them so I'm going to hold control and click the four portions of balustrade and instead of this railing 1100 let's change it to a glass panel bottom fill okay there's a bit of an issue in how it's changing the corners okay we've got a bit of a gap at the end as well it looks a bit untidy so if you edit type there's no glass showing in that one, it looks even worse. So edit type, edit the baluster placement, change the justification to spread pattern to fit. Apply, OK. Apply, OK. So that looks much tidier the way it's dealing with all those changes of direction. Okay, you can see the 3D view is much easier to read than having to deal with plans or something like this section. Now that is pretty tricky to understand what's going on there. So let's do a let's create what's called a 3D callout. So if I go to the level zero plan, okay, and go to the view ribbon, create a callout. They can either be a simple rectangular shape or something a bit more interesting, but simple rectangle will do just here. Okay, so we'll do a call out shape that captures the middle area of the plan. Okay, so that's created the call out. Okay, let's look at our 3D view and put back the objects that are hidden at the moment. So we want to reveal the hidden objects. Getting to the ceiling is pretty tricky. I'm going to have to actually look through the window. So if I go there, right click that, unhide in view element, and then do the same with this, the roof. Click on it, right click, unhide in view element. Okay, so everything's now visible. Go back to the normal view. Now duplicate that 3D view, so you right click it, duplicate view, duplicate. If we had annotations on this, then you would do duplicate with detail. So duplicate the view, okay, let's remember to rename it just now. So we'll call it 3D staircase. OK, 
okay and we want this to be based on the callout initially so you go to the view cube right click the view cube orient to view floor plans level 0 callout 1 Okay, let's turn that around and we can see that's a kind of a portion of the 3D model now. And this box is the, the kind of scope for that, the, the extent of it. So I'm in the wireframe view, it's kind of useful for, for setting this up. So you click on that box and you see all these arrows that you can use to adjust the extent of the, the model. I just want to go just below the ceiling, so a little bit further down again. Okay, I don't want to see all this wall, so I'll pull it in from the side, looking for the blue arrows, and pull it in from this side. And that looks much clearer. You can see what's happening now with that staircase. Okay, we don't need to see the the extents box here. You can right-click that, hide in view, element. Okay, so that's really nice, clear, little bit of 3D work showing all the stuff that we've done to the stair. So we'll pull this into the layout later on uh, instead of the, the 3D view that's there, we'll swap it for this one. Okay, so that covers the kind of modeling in place yeah, to some degree and swapping the balustrades and creating the 3D callout. So hope that's been useful.